2 Corinthians 10 and 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Heavenly Father to the pulling down the strongholds, casting down the imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Heavenly Father and bring it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai. All praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakat Kadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God, Yahweh Shai being the name of his beloved Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's their two names in the last one, Kodash the ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and blessing and salutations to the hopeful elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh by Shemar Shai. And the title of this lesson will be Go up against Esau carnally and you will lose. Okay, go up against Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, carnally, and you will lose. All right, because it's Yahweh by Shemar Shai that has set this man up, okay, and have has given him this power that he, uh, has that he has okay the scripture say the earth was given to the hands of the wicked okay you go in the book of psalms even the book of daniels let me go there okay it tells you that the lord lifted up one and take it down another okay so <clears throat> you can't go up against this man carnally when when it comes to carnality he got that the way we're going to overcome and take this man down is through the spirit and power of your by smile side man okay the scriptures Say that Yahweh Shai is going to come and take this man out of the way, okay? Our job is to teach the word, man. All right, Yahweh Shai said, um, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. Okay? So this is Daniels 2 and uh, 20. Yeah, Daniels 2 and 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. So Esau Edom is set up by the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, the scripture said, I've, I've created all things for myself, even the, the wicked for the day of evil. Okay, Daniel 4 and 16. It says, no, was it uh, 17? This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know. That the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever he will, and set it up over the basis of men. Okay? And that's what we all see, and that's what we're seeing. Okay? The reign of the wicked, the reign of the basis of men. And that's why everything's all jacked up. But going back to the point is, you can't come at this man carnally. That's why all, all Jakes and or whoever tried to come up at this man with his own weaponry, because he, he was... He, his blessing was what? The sword. Anyone that tried to come up against him carnally without Yahweh by Shema Shai, that's why the scriptures say I set up the apostles last. Or you had uh, so called Black Panthers and other uh, uh, organizations that tried to come up against this man carnally. Even Tupac would talk talk like that, you know, try to, try to uh, uh, rouse up a revolution or whatever. You can't come at this man carnally. This man is going, the way you come at this man is with the truth, okay? The truth, man. So let's go to uh, Genesis 27. All right, Genesis 27 and, and 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his, his voice and wept. Esau is talking about the so-called white man, all right? And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Okay, that's why you see Esau, Edom, he dwells in the um, so-called nice areas, okay? And by the sword shalt thou live, here's the point, and by the sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay, so that his blessing was the sword. Okay, it just said, by the sword shall he live. Is that not demonstrated in his reign? The scriptures say, um, well, actually, let me 
stay right here. Well, the scripture say, when a wicked bear poor, the people mourn. So this man has taken that peace from the earth with his sword. This uh, Jeremiah 22 and 17. But thine eyes and thine heart are not but for thy covetousness and for the shed innocent blood and for oppression and for violence to do it. All right. So this is how this man has been ruling. This is how he uh, obtained everything that he has. Hey, like the scripture say, John 10 to 10. The thief cometh not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. All right. So it says, but thine eyes and thine heart are not but for thy covetousness. This is a covetous man. Okay. He, he, he's, anything that he sees and wants, he takes through violence. It says, and for to shed innocent blood. Right. He's always the aggressor. You know, he's always the aggressor. You don't have to do nothing uh, uh, to this man for him to attack you. It says, and for oppression and for violence to do it. So he's been, he's been uh, 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 living by that sword, man. Okay. Which is his blessing. Okay. So this is Revelation 6 and 4. It says, and there went out another horse that was red. Okay. And this is not a literal horse. Okay. It's talking about a man. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat there on. All right. And that red being a clue. Because what does Edom mean? Edom in the Hebrew is Adawam, which means red. Okay. So it, it tells you exactly who it's talking about. It says, and power was given to him. Given. That's a clue right there. Given to him. Okay. That sat their own to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. You see? He was given this great sword to take peace from the earth, man. So you can't go up against him. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is with him to fulfill prophecy, man. Okay? It makes no sense to gain, uh, uh, I mean, uh, gather up arms, weaponry against this man. Carnal weapons, nah, man. Because when you, like the scriptures say, uh, carnal mind is enmity with the Most High, so that automatically was gonna uh, 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 make you an enemy of the Most High, man. The Lord is with this man to fulfill prophecy. The Lord is breaking this man down with His truth, and also with everything He's doing on the earth, man. Esau thinks he's he's uh, gonna fulfill his plans, all right? But the Lord ain't gonna let him uh, fulfill. Uh, 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 his plans, all right? The Lord's going to stop him, all right? So this is uh, Romans 13 and 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that are, so like, the powers that be are ordained of the Most High. So the Lord, like we read in Daniels, set this man up. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of the Most High. And they that resist shall receive themselves damnation. So the Lord gave this man power to rule the earth right now. <clears throat> For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is, he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. Okay, and a, a, a majority of our people are wrapped up in evil. Okay, so they should be in a, they should be afraid of this man. For he beareth not the sword in vain to go that sword again, but he is the minister of the most high, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Okay. So like the scriptures say in Ezekiel, this man loves blood. So if you challenge him on a carnal level, he go he go it's easy work, man. He gonna run to it, okay. But when it comes to the spirit, when it comes to the spiritual, he can't handle that, man. Just like them Egyptians can't do nothing against the plagues that Yahweh Yahushua sent. Okay, it's the same now. So we got to wait upon Yahweh Yahushua. Okay, it's a lot. <coughs> okay, so let's get into uh, Proverbs 20 and 22. It says, say not thou, I will recompense evil. Right, we can't. Pay this man back for all the atrocities that he's committed against us as a nation. Okay? 
Say not thou, I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord, and he shall save thee. Okay, so our job is to wait upon Yahweh by streaming how shy, man. All right, because what we look like, you know, like you had through this, uh, you know, he makes his appearances, uh, uh, we call them uh, military Morpheus. <laughs> They're not fucking around, crew. All right. Um, he's over here talking about he want to, uh, <laughs> they're over here marching through streets and all that with, uh, Esau's, uh, weaponry. Come on, man. You, you know, that looks foolish, man. Cause they don't understand. They don't understand prophecy. They don't understand what time they in, man. And he's an agent anyway, but I'm just making a point. You know, the ones that, that, uh, try to do it like a Malcolm X, like I mentioned, uh, the Black Panthers, Tupac, all these people that think that they, they get, uh, 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 do this without Yahweh Hawashai. It, it ain't going to work like that, man. Okay? So it says, say not thou, I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord, and he He shall save thee, man. Right? The Lord's going to preserve us from this evil and this violent man. The Lord gave this man the power. So it's nothing for the Lord to shield us. When this man comes down from, when he comes down from, uh, uh, with that wrath, man. Okay, and we're telling, we're letting the whole world know that Yahweh Shai is coming, man. Okay. So that's, uh, that's where our, our mind is at, man. Waiting on Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, let me get Matthew, uh, I was going to go to, the, uh, Psalms, but let me go to Matthew real quick. All right, go to that example. When they came for Yahweh Shai, right? And, and uh, Peter's reaction, okay? And, and, and Yahweh Shai's review. You know, because it's a solid, a very important uh, point that Yahweh Shai made. So this is uh, Matthew 26 and uh, 50. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Yahweh Shai and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Yahweh Shai, which was Peter, stretched out, stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. Okay? <laughs> uh, 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 it, was on it was on and popping, you know, with, uh, uh, with Peter, you know, them trying to grab up Yahweh Shai. Now, you would think that Peter was doing the right thing, but we understand prophecy. We understand that. You know, was, uh, Yahweh Shai had to come and, and, and lay his life down, you know, and be that sacrifice. So 52, it says, Then said Yahweh Shai to him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword, man. Okay, and that's something that you hear, you know, that's something that I've heard all my life, you know, you live by the sword, die by the sword. Okay, and that's that's directly from what the uh, uh, for my Lord Yahweh Shai, okay. It's for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. So we don't have to take up the sword, man. All right, we ain't living by the sword. We ain't carnal, okay. It says, "Thinkest thou not, or thinkest thou that I cannot <clears throat> pray to my Father and He shall pre present Salah? Thinkest thou that I cannot pray to my Father and He shall presently give me?" More than twelve legions of angels, so then so he came with the spiritual, you know, shut down the carnal, the fleshly, and he came with the spiritual man. It's a spiritual fight, okay. He had to let him know. That, let me let me keep going. It says, but how then shall the scripture be fulfilled? That thus, it must be, okay. So Yahweh came with the spiritual and went back to prophecy, man, okay. So the prophecy is that. Uh, this man has to come down with that great wrath, man. What we look like fighting against them, uh, uh, you know, carnally, man. <clears throat> All right. Um. Yeah, how will well, yeah, how will Shai is gonna save us from 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 this man? All right. So let's go to Psalms forty six because you know, hey, if you know in the, in the spirit, Peter and uh, King David are the same men, but um. I wanted to get this scripture right here. <clears throat> Damn, is it 46? 
maybe it's 44. Right, okay. So this is uh, Psalms 44 and 4. It says, Thou art my king, O power, command deliverance for Jacob. Through thee will we push down our enemies, right? Through Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, we're going to push down our enemies, man. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us, okay? In the names of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, For I will not trust in my bow. Neither shall my sword save thee, okay? And this is coming from a, a mighty warrior, man. King David was known for slaying tens of thousands, man, okay? But yet, he didn't trust in his bow, and his sword didn't save him. It says, but thou hast saved us from our enemies, and hast put them to shame that hated us, okay? In the Most High, we boast all the day long, and praise thy name forever, Salah, okay? So it's... We're going to take this man down in the spirit, man. First. All right. That's what we're, that's what we're, we're waiting on, man. Like the scriptures say, uh, what is that, uh, 918? Yep. He's asking 918. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, you see? But one sinner destroyeth much good. So with, the, with, our, with, with our wisdom, with the scriptures, you know, with the truth, we're uh, uh, shutting this man down. It's bring, the truth alone is bringing this man down. Because he built a whole society founded upon lies. Okay? So we're, we got to wait upon you, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, for the Lord to lift up that standard, man. You make the wrong move, the Lord could be against you, man. Okay? So I'm going to end it off with... Uh, Go to Romans 8, 6. For to be carnally minded is death, okay? And we we already we already we already experienced that that uh that route. Living carnally, man. That is a dead end, man. But to be carnally minded is death. Okay, you live by the sword, you're gonna die by the sword. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You see? Walking with Yahweh Yahweh Shah is, is life and peace. It says, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, you see? For it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. Because you're moving off the, you're moving off the uh, fleshly impulse. It says, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. But they, or it says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so, be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is none of his. So we are in the spirit. We walk in the spirit. So we know that vengeance is of the Lord, man. We know that we got to wait. Okay? So I'm going to end it off right here. So Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, man. It's good to say, wait, wait ye... Uh, Wait ye upon Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, continually, okay? Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. Okay, Yahweh Shai is going get to get these motherfuckers, man. It says, for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour out them, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Okay, and we see the Lord doing his thing in the Middle East, you know, preparing these nations for war, you know, so we know the time is close. You know, we just got to uh, continually wait, man, you know, and uh, hold our spirits, man, being in this place. But, uh, you know, if you go up against Esau currently, you will lose, <laughs> okay? This is a spiritual battle, and uh, we're taking this man down with the truth. Okay, we gotta wait upon our Lord and, and walk in the Spirit. So, Lord's was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shemir Abushai by Shemakakadash. Till next time, Shalom.